Hello and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate and I love animals. Today we're talking about the top 10 pet transformations. Now, I'm not condoning any of the looks on this list except for number one, but this is what people have been doing to give their pets a makeover. My question is though, do pets really need a makeover? We'll see. Coming into number 10, we have Dragon Cat. Okay, this is actually the cutest dragon cat that has ever lived, but it's also totally, clearly very ferocious. This little beauty is the product of a makeover from a Russian groomers. This all goes down in the city of Yekaterinburg. The cat is a Siberian breed cat, dyed emerald green, and shaved to look like a mythical beast. Look at the attention to detail on that tail, and I'm also really in love with the cat's face. The very same groomers also created this bumble dog at number 9. This dog looks like he kind of got a rough deal. He doesn't look that happy about being a bee, although I still think that he looks really, really cute. The groomers made a buzz across news outlets as they began sharing pictures of their creations. One of the groomers, Adi Morova, said that the salon uses harmless dye for the dogs. It's apparently from plant extract, so it's totally safe. Coming into number eight, a very popular trend in China, we have dog pandas. So there is a huge trend in China to dye chow chow dogs to look like pandas, and some certain Circuses are even trying to market these as Chinese bears and are charging people to come and see them. Chow chows are originally from Hungary, but they're very, very popular with the Chinese middle classes. One pet shop owner in Xinjiang said that he was struggling to keep up with the demand. He remarked that 10 years ago, Chinese people were eating dogs, but these days they want them as pets. Pets died to look like pandas. But still, I guess that's better than eating them. Coming into number seven, we have this wild scene a cheetah and a tiger. Oh my. I'm not sure if Cheetahs and tigers would be besties in real life, but in groomed dogland, why the heck not? That is one tiger I really wouldn't mind giving a tickle. What an absolute babe. Coming into number six, we have pink pigeons. In Long Island, New York, pink pigeons were found roaming. It seems like they have been purposefully dyed pink. Images of the birds circulated the news in 2016, and it was suspected they may have been coloured for a wedding. Both pigeons were tagged, which suggests that they were pets or captive in some way. Many local animals shelters were appalled at the transformation as birds really wouldn't enjoy the process of being dyed. They're much more skittish than dogs and even cats, which take the procedure with much lower levels of stress. Be still my bleating heart, we have this field of yellow sheep at number 5. Is this a field of buttercups? Oh no no no, it's a field of yellow sheep in the Yorkshire Dales. I love the Yorkshire Dales more than anywhere else on earth, and the sheep really don't mind non-toxic dye so much at all. For the Tour de France that came through the Dales in 2014, farmers painted their sheep yellow. A few were even red and spotty too. I went to the Tour de France in the Dales myself and it was so much fun. Not only did they dye their sheep, they also turned all of their hay bales into giant cheeses. Here's a picture of me climbing on one like a cheese queen. You know it's true. What is happening at number four? This dog has been transformed into Goofy. Okay, so actually this dog is supposed to be Disney's Pluto, but I'm definitely seeing a big amount of Goofy in there. And hello, I spot Mickey. This image comes from New York photographer Paul Nathan's portraits taken after a grooming contest in New Jersey in 2013. He compiled several of his pictures into a book called Groomed, which is about the creative world of dog clipping. Another of Nathan's snaps up next, we have this tropical bonanza at number 3. A flamingo, a parrot, and a palm tree all on one dog. This dog is an actual scene, albeit a ridiculous scene, but a complete scene nonetheless. Okay, moving on, this dog makeover is absolutely insane. The owner has managed to make a raccoon out of a dog's butt, which seems like pure magic, so witness the miracle here at number two. Only in America could a pet owner turn their beloved pooch into a tree yielding a sleepy raccoon. I may not totally approve of this practice, but the craftsmanship here is so impressive. Finally, at number one, a true transformation, and the only one I can really condone, we have this rescue and transformation of this abandoned and dog. This poor dog, named Alice by her rescuers, was found in the back of a filthy tuk-tuk taxi in India. Now this is how she looked when she was found. She was a sad, mangled mess with a skin disease called mange. Flies were crawling on her, her nails had grown long, and she had literally curled up to die. Some people were dubbing her the barnacle dog because of the look of her skin. However, after an animal rescue team found her, she was nursed back to health. Slowly, she got her life back again and began looking like an actual 
actual dog and acting like one too. Her fur grew back and this is how she looked six weeks later. This makes my heart so happy, I love seeing her tail wagging, especially the contrast after seeing her curling up and waiting to die and now she's got a second lease of life, it's beautiful. So from the superficial to the life saving, this list has been pretty interesting. I'm all for rescuing animals, I just don't know how I feel about dying them. I don't think if I had a dog I would die it and carve a raccoon into its butt, but that's just me. A lot of people say that it isn't harmful to pets, so I guess we just have to ask Peter about that one. So what do you guys think to this list? What was your favourite transformation? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, I heart animals, if you do too, please leave this video a good thumbs up and stay subscribed for more most amazing top 10 videos. I'll see you next time. <laughs>